This is Tristan with Victorious Games. Hello everyone and welcome back. Another day, another new GDevelop extension. I'm very happy to introduce to you the new draggable physics extension, which will let you drag physics objects, similar to the way you would drag them using the draggable built-in behavior. So for context, let me show you what the normal draggable behavior does. I'm gonna add a new object from the asset store and we'll just choose this banana. Let's make him bigger. So if you start this game, this banana has no interaction so far. Let's add the draggable behavior to it. So this top one is the built-in draggable. With that behavior on, we can now move the banana wherever we would like to move it, just by clicking and dragging. However, you may have discovered that physics objects like these green peas, if you add the uh, draggable behavior to them, the standard draggable object, it actually does nothing. So that's why I created this new extension. In order to use this extension, the first thing you need to do is install it. You can get to it by clicking on search for new extensions and search for draggable physics and install it. Let's delete the standard draggable and let's add the draggable for physics objects. You can modify these values or just leave them as default. Now when you click and drag on a physics object, it will move. In fact, you can actually fling objects because it remembers the velocity and that it was traveling when you let go. So this is a very basic but also very useful tool for physics games. There's also a condition that will be useful for you Similar to the normal draggable, there's a is being dragged condition, and there's an action called release from being dragged. So this event I have is if, if the player is being dragged and the distance from the mouse to the player is greater than 200 pixels, it will let go. And let me show you that. So we'll pick this guy up. And if I keep going up, see he's hitting the ground here and eventually it'll break the connection. So this can be useful depending on what the logic of your game is. That's all for this extension. Keep watching this channel and I'll keep pumping out these extensions. See you on the next video.